this video is going to be a video that you can make early in the morning and breakfast. Actually, you know what? No, you can make this at any time of the day because this is right up my alley. This is how to make a breakfast burrito or a breakfast in such a quick amount of time. You know those mornings where you really don't want to cook, but yet you, you need to eat something? Stay tuned and we will get down to the nitty gritty of how I can make a quick and easy breakfast in all under a few minutes. Let's just start off by saying, hi, I'm Susie J. Cobwebs and today we are going to make coffee and breakfast burritos all out of the microwave. I know, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Let's get down to it. First, we need to start the coffee pot because this takes a little bit longer than the rest of the items that we're gonna to make today. Come with me. First, we wanna get our ingredients out. I have my water already in my coffee pot here. So I'm gonna stick it right in here. stick it right down at the bottom of a coffee pot. I'm going to get one of these coffee filters. Stick it right in the middle here. So, I like to add all the stuff out on the table first so then whenever I'm done with it, I will actually put it back into the cupboard. So I'm going to get my, I put my filter in. And today I'm using Maxwell House Morning Boost Medium. So we're going to open this up and I have a scooper in here. So we're going to put a couple scoops in. this all up. I like to keep the seal on here. It keeps the coffee fresher. So right now I'm just going to set this. I'm going to put this away just to be on the safe side so we don't forget about it. After I close up this coffee pot and get everything situated, I'm going to press the on button. So it's going to take a few minutes. In the meantime, I have my coffee cup ready. And I have my creamer ready, which this week it's going to be Italian sweet cream by Coffee Mate. This does change. It just all depends on what I feel like when I go to the store. Let's go to the next thing that we're going to make for breakfast. If you know me, you know me that I am a burrito connoisseur. I can stick anything in a burrito and I'm a happy little camper. But today we are going to make a breakfast burrito in the microwave. So let's get down to it. As I said, I have all my ingredients out. Got my bowl. Today I'm using grade A large eggs. I'm going to crack two. Next, I'm going to get the milk out. We don't go through that much milk, so that's why we have a little container of milk. And just add a, just a tiny bit. You want to fluff up the eggs a little bit. Next, I'm going to take a pepper grinder. I'm going to take the pepper grinder and grind some pepper in it. 
little bit. I try to watch on my salt intake, so that's why I'm not going to add any salt to this particular menu. Next, we're going to stir. I mean, this particular time I'm using a whisk. Sometimes you can use a fork. It just all depends on what you have quick and easy access to at the time. But this works. I'm all for easy, cheap, convenient, but also healthy too. And it's going to save some money in my pocket also. So as I'm done stirring this, you can add all different kinds of things to this mixture. Today I'm going to add Jimmy Dean's fully cooked original pork sausage crumbles. You only need to add a tiny bit because these are already made. They just needed to be heated up. I'm just going to stir them into the mixture. I'm going to take this over to the microwave and I'm going to put it on for 30 seconds. Be right back. In the meantime, while that is in the microwave, I can put away the milk and the eggs and the sausage. I'm going to bring it back over here. This was 30 seconds. I'm just going to stir it a tad bit more. And then I'm going to put it in for two minutes. In the meantime, I'd like to get prepared for the next section of this production. Honestly, this does not take this long, but we just wanted to make sure that you get all these steps down correct. Now I actually go through Mission Flour Tortillas. This seems to be my favorite. So I'm going to stick that on a paper plate because we have fine china here. And that's my boyfriend and I and we don't feel the need to wash dishes so we go to paper products a lot of the time. So I think that is more of a, a better idea than to wash dishes every five minutes. Today I'm actually going to put in different cheeses. This is whatever I had in the fridge. It's nothing anything special. But this is Mexican style four cheese and it's already grated. So we're just going to add a little bit to our burrito this morning. While we're waiting on the egg stuff, I'm so glad that you came and hung out with me this morning. Most of the time it's usually me in the morning. And so this is a quick and easy meal that I can make that doesn't really take too much preparation. and quick, easy, and it fills your belly. With this particular corningware, it is very hot when it comes out of the microwave. So I'm just going to take it out and scramble it because it's already done. Look how quick and easy that was. So now we're going to add this to the burrito. It all depends on how big or small you would like your burrito. We're just going to do it one, one like this. And just be careful on the bowl because I know those particular bowls are very, very hot. That's why I had to use the pot holders there. Next, after you have your eggs in here, we're going to add some of the cheeses, just however much. There's no set way of actually making this burrito. You just kind of like put however much you want. I am a huge, 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 huge fan favorite of salsa. I can have 
salsa day in or day out, and maybe even twice on Sunday. So, I'm going to add a little bit of salsa. Well, I think is a little bit, but that is just me. Do my burrito. Now, we're going to fold up the sides, and then we're going to fold up the top of these sides here. And then we're going to roll. Once we are rolling, once we get to the other side of the burrito, we're going to fold those sides in and voila, a breakfast burrito. We're going to stick this on the table. While we are waiting for the coffee to finish up, I'm just going to clean up my mess here. And now we're back to the coffee pot. This is one of my fan favorite coffee cups and I am actually a big huge fan of the green m and You will see this one in a lot of my videos and she just became my friend for over the years. We have a coffee pot that we can actually pull the coffee pot carafe out it stops making the coffee and then we can pour the coffee in our cup and then whenever we add the coffee pot back into the machine it'll continue running I like to add a little bit of Italian sweet cream this is my favorite for the week. It is only me that actually uses these fav flavored creamers in the house. So I'll do one and then next week or the week after, however long it takes me to finish this, then I will get another one. Now we're going to stir. So, as you can see, we made breakfast quick, easy, and cheap. Healthy, at least I think it is, with my coffee and my breakfast burrito. And now I'm a happy little camper. If you like these types of videos and you would like to see more of these types of videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that post notification button so you can see the next time that I post these videos and so we can be on top of getting frugal and easy and quite delicious meals. To the next time, love you bunches!